that, that a lot of uh, people in uh, Poland are fans of your fantastic movie. And uh, I enjoy until today these two movies which uh, smoke and blue in the face. And I want to know what is, uh, what is a good movie to you? How you um, well, I, I just made a film called Thousand Years of Good Prayers. Um, and I, I really like that film. Everybody keeps talking about smoke and blue in the face, but that's 10 years ago. <laughs> but Thousand Years of Good Prayers is a very good film. So, um, um, and you know, what is a good film you mean? How, what do I consider a film good? Yes. I think that's a very difficult topic, you know. As, as a jury member with, with the festival, I try to, you know, tell myself to be open to, to all different kinds of films, to be open to um, why people are, 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 are wanting to tell their stories and how successful they are in communicating and telling their story. Your movies uh, are uh, of, about Brooklyn, about New York. Uh, how can uh, that New York has, a, has a, such a great inspiration of you? What is well, my movies are not about New York and Brooklyn. That's a mistake. That, those are the only two that I made. You know, my movies, I'm Chinese and I live in America. Most of my movies are actually about the Chinese in America. So Brooklyn was one because I was interested in a Paul Auster short story and I made that one. But if you look at my real films, they are all about the Chinese in America. Uh, why you uh, make this uh, films, uh, this, why you take this subject, uh, Chinese in America, this life of simple people, uh, what is interesting for you? Because... Um, you know, there are a lot of Chinese in America and no one is making and telling their stories. If they do, like for example in Hollywood, they make stereotype move, uh, images of them. So I feel like a responsibility to tell, um, you know, real stories about, you know, the Chinese who are living there because that's my community. Mm -hmm. uh, did you uh, want to... Uh uh, change uh, a little bit, change a world uh, with your film. It is ch change, change something or uh, change the world. Yes, I don't know if I want to change the world because I don't think films can ultimately change the world. I think I think it's a lot of other things. Maybe films together with a lot of other things can inspire people. Um, I like to just tell um, a story uh, so that people understand the world better and understand each other better. And through that, maybe the world will change. How important are good actors for you in the film? I think it's very important. I think they're 90% of a film. Um, did you, uh, for, what is for you uh, more important? A good script, a good actor, or a good uh, camera? Or I think all of those things. You cannot live without any of those things. Um, did you also work with uh, not professional uh, artists? I also work with non-professionals, and I think it's it's a very different way of working with them. Then, then I use the actors more playing themselves rather than a character, uh, because it's very difficult for them to act as someone else. So there is, is something interesting about you know, non-professionals being themselves and trying to capture uh, a reality of that. Mm -hmm. Where do you take your inspiration? It comes from everywhere. It comes from, um, like let's say, Henning here who tells great stories about people. It comes from the newspaper. It comes from books that I read. It comes from short stories that I read. It comes from everything comes from other films. I'm very inspired by all the films that I'm seeing here at the festival. Uh, have you enjoyed uh, this Berlin festival? I, I have. It's, 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 um, it's a very good festival. 
Mm, did you know something about Polish film? Uh, I know a little bit about Polish film, not a whole lot. Or some regisseur, some director which uh, you like from Poland? Um, is possible to... is, is Wada uh, uh, Polish? Yes. He is? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So he has a film called Sweet Rush. I'm a, I've, I've seen his, many of his films and I'm a big fan of his. Um, mm -hmm. So he's the only Polish film that I can think of in this uh, in the competition this year. And uh, you also working with Paul Oster together. Did he have any influence of you or you of Paul Oster? It is, was good uh, cooperation between us? We worked very closely together. So mm -hmm. we did everything very closely together. Yeah. And why you was choosing him? Because I read the sh a, a short story that he wrote called Augie Ren's Christmas Story and I really liked the story and then I, I found him through, through his manager and we started talking and working together. And you're also working with my favorite uh, uh, actress, uh, Herbert Cato. I don't know how. Herbert Cato. Herbert Cato. This Herbert Cato. I don't know how to pronounce it. So, uh, old man, he was in two movies, uh, uh, two small, just uh, uh, mind feeder. Keitel. Oh, Harvey Keitel. Harvey Keitel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What is what was uh, interesting for you in this typical tip of uh, actors, type of actor? Um, I think, I think Harvey, first of all, you know, lives in New York and knows New York really well. So he kind of represents the the you know, the character that, that's in Smoke. Um, and I think Harvey is a very, very natural, organic actor, uh, and he works from the whole, uh, the, the actor's method, which I find very interesting. And he's just, a, um, you know, very authentic actor. Yeah. Uh, do you like also movie from uh, Woody Allen? Uh, just uh, he... Uh, uh, also uh, make in New York City and or Jim Jarmusch, <coughs> which are more close to you, Jim Jarmusch or Woody Allen mm -hmm. from New York. Uh, I Indiana. like I like all of them. All I like both of them. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. I, I, I